This video tutorial is going to show how to configure the directory importer feature in Trackit. So the Trackit application has a directory importer tool that allows you to import users from an Active Directory domain or from an LDAP server. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in and show you how to do that. It's pretty easy. So the uh, first thing you need to do is go to the administration console. So we can get there from tools, administration console from the menu. Or you can press F9 to get there as well. And once we're in the administration console, we go under administration at directory importer. And the first node under directory importer is directory service. And you'll notice if you're on an active directory domain that uh, track it will detect where the machine is logged in and actually populate the domain there with the domain that the computer is logged into. And so for our test here, we're logged into a, a QA lab domain here. And in most cases, the anonymous access here will work just fine. Uh, we have a test button, so you can actually test your connection to your domain here or to your LDAP server. So if you, if you click test, it'll go off and try and authenticate. And here it says the login is valid. Uh, if I was restricted, if I was logged into some kind of restricted user and I couldn't get to the Active Directory, then that may fail. And then I would have to turn off anonymous and actually provide a valid account. But in most cases, uh, if you're a domain admin or if you're somebody on the help desk who has pretty high level access, you shouldn't have any trouble getting to this. Uh, in some more restrictive environments, you may have to use a special account here. So uh, for this example, I'm, I've got my domain. I'm going to flip down here to the uh, next node. So this explains the selection and licensing process and shows you how many licenses you have for your end users and how many you have allocated. And so the most common thing to import here because that's what you have the most of is your end users. So that's what we're going to jump into. Uh, so here you can see we've got in this demo license 499 available licenses and one allocated. And so we want to select the Active Directory group of users that we want to import. So I've already selected a group here, but I'm going to go ahead and hit add and show you what it looks like to actually do a search. So when you do a search, it's going to show up in all the different units that are in your Active Directory. And so you can pick uh, I think in our example here, I just picked the users group. Uh, you can pick uh, built-in users, or if you have a particular user group that you want to import, you can select that as well. There's a find here, so you can search for a particular group. And you'll also notice at the bottom, it says you can allocate a self-service license when a user is created. So you want to make sure that's the default, but you want to make sure that's turned on if you're going to use self-service so that the people, when they're imported, they can use the self-service module. So once you've selected a group, uh, you'll notice that that appears in our list of groups to be imported as is users into our Trackit application. Uh, you can look at the field mapping screen here. Um, I'm going to kind of gloss over this because about 99% of the time this is already correct. We have set up the default uh, fields and, and things from Active Directory for users, and it should pull in just fine. So uh, the other thing I'm going to show you here is the automated schedule. The automated schedule here allows you to schedule your directory importer to run uh, at a certain interval, uh, usually once a week. Most people would run it or, or sometimes once a day. Uh, the default is once a day. So if any new users get added to your active directory, then those would automatically be pulled into track it as well. And there's a little log down here that shows you, that, you know, what's going on with the directory importer and the last time it run and, and that sort of thing. And so I can go ahead and force an import of the group that I just selected and the the service will go off and talk to the Active Directory get all the users from that group and pull them in and then this uh, this grid will update as the import process occurs it usually doesn't take too long I mean it depends on the size of your Active Directory if it's really large of course it, it may take a little while to run but um, it really normally doesn't take too long so right now it's um it's grabbing all the users from Active Directory, pulling them into my users table, and creating self-service accounts for them as well. And so if I go down here to my lookup tables under users, you'll see there are a bunch of users showing up in here now. These are all the ones being pulled in from the uh, Active Directory import. And so there, are, this was our test domain, so we have a lot of test users in here that you'll see. And um, you know you should see yours populate as well. So really, that's it when it comes to directory importer. It's very simple. 
Uh, again, you have the option to use the Active Directory or an LDAP server. And you pick your user group that you want to import. You set it up if you want to do it on a schedule. And here you'll notice our cycle completed. And that's it. So I hope this uh, tutorial has been helpful to you.